Hello, thank you for watching this video. In this video, we mainly introduce the questions that our customer have in this week. And uh, there are three questions. The first one is about the RD6012P. Uh, it is different with other RD series power supply because it has two output range. It has 12 MP range and it also has 6 MP range. Uh, you can press the up button and the down uh, direction button to adjust the output range. You can see here, it shows the output range. Now it is 12 MP and I press the down uh, direction button and uh, it turns to 6 MP. Press the up button, it uh, returns to 12 MP range. And you can see here, the current uh, decade uh, will change. This is the uh, uh, current range switch. And uh, other RD power supply does not have this function because they only have one output current range. And uh, the second one is that our power supply can connect inductive load, like a motor. But you need to notice that you need to limit the current in one third range. For example, this RD6612P, uh, the max output current you use for the motor uh, can only be 4 A. Uh, customer orders the RD6612 and he set the uh, output current at 10 A. He said that when uh, the motor is uh, connected, the current consume, uh, consumed is only 1 amp. Uh, it is not about uh, the current uh, consume. When you turn on the output, there will be a large inrush current. Uh, this current will be very large, so that we'll, we limit the output current in one third range to protect the device. Uh, actually, not only our power supplier have this request, um, other power supply from other manufacturers uh, only uh, also have this uh, request. Okay, so you need to notice that when connect inductive load like motor, you need to limit the current in one third of the max current range. Uh, for the last question, it is also introduced in the short video before. It is about the cutoff current when uh, use the battery charging terminal. You can see I press the menu button and uh, I check this. At the battery charger uh, interface, there is two cutoff settings. It is cutoff current setting and uh, cutoff temperature setting. For the current cut of current setting, some customer will uh, mix up with uh, the over current protection setting. There are two different settings. Over current protection means if the output current is higher than this value, the output will be cut off by uh, the protection. It does not. It does not allow over high output current to protect your load. The cutoff current means uh, when the output current is lower than this value, uh, the, cut, uh, the output will be cut off because it thinks uh, that the battery is fully charged, no need to charge more. It is because our power supply uses CC CV mode to charge the battery. At first, for example, uh, I change the setting. Normally, uh, no, it's wrong. 4.2 volts and uh, 1 amp. Normally, we will use 4.2 volt and 1 amp to charge our battery. And uh, at first, it will use 1 amp to charge the battery. Uh, then, uh, the output voltage will, at, uh, at first, when the battery is empty, it should be about 3.8, 3.7 volt, and uh, the current is 1 amp. 
it will, the current will be constant and the uh, voltage will be uh, increasing. And uh, until it is up to 4.2 volt, it changes to uh, CV mode. The output voltage will be 4.2 volt always. And the current will reduce, 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 reduce until a very low value. It will not be zero because the battery will consume power. So the at, uh, finally the will be a very low current uh, because the uh, input of the battery and the consume is balanced. Okay, then you can set this value as a cutoff current setting. Then uh, when the output real output current reduced to this value, the output will be cut off. And uh, so that you need no, you do not need to cut off, cut off the output board by yourself. Okay, this is the uh, uh, last question. If you have any questions, you can contact us. We can make the video for you. It is okay. Thank you for watching this video.